Operation Steel Wave is advancing on Rainbow Six Siege, bringing a new attacker named Ace, who throws sequentially exploding hard breach gadgets that create small, medium, and large problems for defenders. The new defender, Melusi, deploys Banshee devices to hum angrily at any attackers in range and slow their movement speed, giving them some problems of their own. But if the sound you hear as you approach the objective is less of a hum and more of a beep, then you've tripped the new secondary gadget, the Proximity Alarm. A defender will be with you shortly. Take a quick second to subscribe to this channel and let's see Operation Steel Wave in action as we tour the freshly renovated and nicely appointed rooms of the rework of a Siege classic, House. Breaches come in threeches when Ace, the new two-speed Norwegian attacker, suits up for action. His Selma gadget can be thrown onto a breachable surface, hard or soft, where it will stick, deploy explosive arms, slide on down, and then boom. If there's space and a defender hasn't interfered, the Selma will go through the cycle two more times to create a positively massive hole. But even if a Selma is stymied before it creates the full three boom opening, it can still create a new line of sight, a new opening for gadgets and utility, or a new entry point. It can also blow open an unreinforced hatch, but it'll take two to get through a reinforced one because the Selma doesn't do sequential explosions when deployed on a floor. And though you can stick it to pretty much any surface, a Selma will only activate if the surface is destructible. Fun fact, those explosive arms will destroy any defender gadget that's in their deployment area, which is another way that Ace can make a big impact without taking big risks. The Selma canister is vulnerable to any damage, but because Selma explosions don't do much damage to operators, a defender might want to wait for that second breach to spring a nasty surprise. Top four, last stop standing. Other counters to Ace's Selma breaches include electricity from Kaid or Bandit's gadgets, mid-air interception from Wamai or Jaeger's devices, and jamming from Mute as long as the Mute jammer remains in place. Take the jammer out and the Selma will automatically get back to business. Also, a defender with a sight line to the gadget can simply shoot it, so you'll want to use Ace's AK-12 assault rifle equipped with NATO sights, his M1014 shotgun, or his P9 sidearm to clear out any potential interference. Interference. Well, that's the new South African defender Malusi's middle name. Not literally, it's more that her banshee gadget is designed with interference in mind. Deployable on vertical and horizontal surfaces, the banshee emits a loud buzzing noise whenever an attacker steps into its substantial radius and line of sight. In addition to alerting anyone nearby of the attacker's presence, the Banshee also slows down the attacker's movement, and the effect gets more powerful the closer they get to the device. Now that is not the place you want to be, especially if Malusi is nearby with her T5 SMG, Super 90 shotgun, or RG15 sidearm. Did I mention she's a 3-speed? A fast defender against slowed attackers is just the matchup that Malusi wants, whether she's protecting the objective or roaming off-site. Note that her Banshee device only slows attacker movement, not their aim, so bold attackers might step into the Banshee radius on purpose to lure Malusi out for a duel. Otherwise, they'll need to take another route, or find a way to destroy the Banshee. Explosives work, so Ash, Sophia, and Kali are strong counters to Malusi's influence. A melee hit is effective too, but you'll want the assistance of Twitch or Thatcher to temporarily turn the thing off so you can get close, or you could just ask Finca for a boost. But a Banshee combines so well with other Defender gadgets that it might not be the only obstacle to contend with. Smoke's Toxic Beauties and Goyo's Vulcan Shields both create hazards that attackers need to escape quickly, something a Banshee won't let them do. Rushes from speedy attackers, pushes from big shieldy boys, and sneaky flanks from the elusive Nook all make the Banshee hum with delight. At least, I think that's delight. It certainly sounds more content than the Defender's new secondary gadget, the Proximity Alarm. 
This thing sounds nervous, or maybe that's just the feeling that comes naturally when a loud noise is signaling your position to any nearby enemies. Whether it's tipping off roamers to an attacker's entry point, or alerting an anchor that someone's on their flank, all the proximity alarm needs is line of sight and an attacker in its radius to sound the call. 50 seconds left. Now, some congratulations are in order because the lengthy renovations to the one and only house have been completed. It's still a casual map, not one where you'd host anything too fancy, but that upstairs workshop that's been under construction for over four years is now a lovely pink bedroom with a new walk-in closet, and the top of the front porch has been enclosed to create a new hallway over to the bathroom. Most of the rooms will be very familiar to frequent guests, but a substantial new two-story addition off the back adds rooms for music, entertainment, and play, as well as a new staircase and exterior balcony. Arriving visitors should note that the main entrance is currently out of order, and one garage entrance has been closed, leaving only the garage door under the office overhang available. Also coming with Operation Steel Wave is a balancing tweak for Amaru, aimed at making her Gara hook entry smoother and swifter. Plus, she can now use her hook to bust up through unreinforced floor hatches, making for some surprisingly quick interior movement. The tweak to Amaru, the proximity alarm, and the house map rework will be free for all players when Operation Steel Wave launches. The new operators, Ace and Malusi, will be exclusively available to Year 5 pass holders for the first week, and after 7 days, will be available for anyone to purchase with Renown or R6 credits. To keep up with the latest plans for Year 5 of Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.